actually, the value for life, the value, how I valued life, actually was another thing that made me. It actually started around, um, or made my made my country, made me better, made everything. It actually started somewhere around Rome, actually, when you want to get down to it. I mean, Egypt, that was basically, I had all these farms, and, and I was feeding all these people, all these refugees. There's all these refugees out there somewhere in the desert, and um, or somewhere, and, and I got, and I sent people out there to start feeding them. Um, uh, my people were just feeding them and, and providing food for them and stuff and building dams to get water to them because, well, I was doing a desert project, actually. I was trying to see if, if desert is desert or is it possible to make desert turn back into, into fertile ground, like messing around with water, basically, is what I would call it. Um, so I was feeding all these people, and plus, like, I had all these mines out in the desert and so you can't really truck food. It was back in the day when, when food went bad. So if you didn't grow it or if it wasn't around you. And that's another thing, too, that was a big problem is finding, you know, there's crop time period. So you have to stagger your crops or or you have to have something brought in that that will get you through those six months or nine months that that there's no food. So. So there has to be some way, I mean, dried meat, dried figs, um, something so I um so I had people that were actually I mean I th I built it up slowly o over time you know it was like it was like oh go hunt down a cow or something like that and also like sometimes it'd be you know the different I forget how I did it but it was I mean it was a real nightmare um you know getting people from basically nothing to what is what what is um food and crop yields and stuff like that and and like getting the mines to keep going and sometimes I wonder what the people were doing but then again the people said we are nothing we are we we do not have value we have no value and I was like yes you do stop it I care about you and I care about someone and that means I care about them so and I would always talk to them and I and I would say it's going to be okay we'll We'll find a way to get through this together. Um, I hope that, that my ideas and everything would help them in time. But um, but I care. And like I say, back in the day, I mean, people saw a great big metal ship, and it's like, <gasps> there's so much metal. And I loved it, too. I did love that, that they had finally seen some things of, of, what, of what was to come, they would say. And they would ask me, is this what, what is to come? And I was like, yeah. Well, big wooden ships, big steel ships, yeah. It's basically um, more of that. And uh, other things. Uh, civilization. Like I say, people, when, when, when Paris was just like two sticks, two streets, and, and a couple buildings, uh, people would tour it from around the world. And it was slowly getting better. And that's another thing, too, that people don't understand is... is when the people started coming, when the people started seeing the towns or seeing seeing what is what is civilization more than just huts, they um, they started to realize as well. I mean, at first it was just about feeding people, running the mines, you know, it was just lodger through through dirt and mud and everything else. But then, like I say, um, I I spent a lot of money or a lot of time, or I you know got a lot of got some groups to build the first road um, on in, in, a, in a town. Just some, some blocks or something that was... I think they might have even carved the first road out of rock, solid rock. And it really wasn't much. It was way too expensive and way too hard. Um, but it was a start and stuff. I mean, we did it the hard way. I mean, I really do go back to Rome. But it was a nice, good place, safe place for, for a market or whatever. I mean, I really had to had to had to get people talk people into doing the first market. You know, I mean, it wasn't all that hard. I mean, most people actually even stayed away from everyone else because they're like, we do not trust them. <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, I'll get some swords, and and that's another thing too. My markets, I had swordsmen at, at at every single one of my markets, so it was safe because they're like, we do not show our money. They take it. So it's like, okay, well. The swordsmen are there. I pay the swordsmen. It comes out the taxes or whatever, and manage. and And I had 
you know, there's also a lot of a lot of possibility for abuse too. I mean, that was another thing that really worried me. Is like, it's like, oof, I've built this system, but it can be abused by whoever is there. Uh, well, you know, but but like my soldiers, you know, my soldiers usually came. There were there were like three families or something, uh, fighting families. They had uh, they worked for me, kind of thing. I forget. They go way back to something else. Um, and then, like I say, they were the healed people. I called the, the um, they would probably be better, better known as the healed men. And those were the people that were healed by one of my doctors or whatever. It started, it started really small with the gypsies. Just healed men that had had their life saved by one of my nurses or people. The beginning of medicine, basically. Um, people just called them as the healed men or something like that. Um, you know, they were broken people that had been broken by alcohol or um, or something like that, or broken by, or they had literally had their leg, their leg broken and then it had been reset. Like I say, in the beginning, not, if you broke your bone, everyone broke their bone, and if you broke your bone, you're usually dead. They just, okay, that's it. And I tried to keep that from happening as much as possible. Um, you know, not everyone had good strong bones back then. That's another thing is I had some people with some goats. They were goat heart herders, actually. And they had goats. And so, you know, they gave babies milk. And actually, I was like, well, let's try giving them milk, other stuff. So they tried to make cheese. They tried to make... <clears throat> because the milk went bad, of course. That was another problem. The milk went bad. So so I was like, well, we need to make... We need to keep this milk from going bad. I was like, maybe salt... Um, because I knew salt as possibly a preservative, or somebody knew about salt, so we got salt, and then um, and they're trying to get that get that milk to last longer, so they could eat it, because um, maybe it had calcium or something, or just something good. Anyway, it had protein, of course, because so anyway, um, my people with the goat and milk and the and the cheese had more energy and stuff. Um, I mean, it was civilization to me was like clawing along like like like, like I, I would I would like work over here and then and I'd work with this group and get that stuff going then work over here and it was literally like like back and forth back and forth back and forth like I was just struggling to to, to get this this thing done this thing going um it uh I mean it's I did it twofold because I did it as Lucifer and then I did it as Brian and so it, it's really confusing for me because because like I said I was on top I was powerful everything was great and then all of a sudden <clears throat> and then it's like shit okay we gotta rebuild this it's not over you know like that it went like that I was like I was like it ain't over yet we can re we can come back. So um, so then I had to work again, and then that was that was where where the real like to this group to that group to this group to that group to this group to that group. I mean, it just went back and forth, and I was clawing my way back up after the crash. I was like, no, this is going to work. It's going to work, and um, and then that's when all the showmanship came in. Like I said, I did it twofold. I did it where we crawled up, and then I did it with the showmanship and just showing people and just getting getting the first store <clears> or <throat> the first marketplace. They said, they said, we cannot go to the marketplace. The marketplace, everyone steals at the marketplace. You do not walk away with your money or whatever. It's, it's a waste of time. You know, anyone see your money, they take it. Like, oh, okay. Security. So someone eventually, one of the bigger groups, I was, I, I talked to him, I was like, look, you can't, don't steal anyone else, just sell your goods, you sell just fine. And it was really like I had a couple mines, or, or I had a couple groups mining. It also, you could almost say it went back to Mexico with, um, with the markets there. Because I had like three or four mines, three or four families, and they kind of like shared their stuff, or kind of like did this thing where they traded metal, although it's kind of like, why? You know, they had mines anyway, I don't know. You know, building up the metal quantity in the, in the world. Like I say, it was it was a nightmare. You wanna go 